Mojo, a new programming language for AI developers. There are a bunch of questions about Julia, so I'll do my best to give a short answer to a very long and complicated topic. Up front, Julia is a wonderful language and a wonderful community, I am a super fan. That said, Mojo is a completely different thing. It is aligned with the Python community to solve specific problems outlined here. Doc Modala Jamidal. Mojo also has a bunch of technical advancements compared to Julia, by virtue of it being a much newer development and being able to learn from it, and Swift and Rust, and C in many many other languages, including things like ownership and no GC. We also think there is room for a new language that is easier to deploy, scales down to small envelopes, works directly with the full Python ecosystem, is designed for ML, and for MLIR from first principles, etc. Julia is far more mature and advanced in many ways. Many folks have and will continue to push Julia forward, and we wish them the best. It is a lovely ecosystem and language. There is room for more than one thing. Edit. Just in case there is any confusion, I work for Modular, built LLVM, Swift, Clang, MLIR, and a variety of other things. I wasn't trying to misrepresent as being unaffiliated. Julia is far more mature and advanced in many ways. Many folks have and will continue to push Julia forward, and we wish them the best, it is a lovely ecosystem and language. There is room for more than one thing. In general this tends to be true. However, in this case I'm not so sure. Modular seems to have garnered a lot of investment, probably orders of magnitude more than the Julia community has been able to get. There are a lot of nagging problems in Julia, startup times, Though that's gotten better recently, ML kernel performance and executables come to mind that could have been easily fixed if they had the money to throw at them. Since they haven't had that kind of investment people who kick Julia's tires tend to see these things as built-in limitations and move on. This is too real and any of the great investment of manpower, e.g. TensorFlow for Swift, if happened to Julia would probably be 10x or 100x in terms of raw. Just look at how few devs and line of code Julia's alternative to pandas Numpy ML Autodiv plotting has. If Julia ecosystem can be somewhat competitive while only having part-time and researchers side project contributors, it will thrive if properly invested. Python has amazing strengths as a glue layer and low-level bindings to C and C allow building libraries in C, C and many other languages with better performance characteristics. This is what has enabled things like Numpy, TensorFlow and PyTorch and a vast number of other libraries in the ecosystem. Unfortunately, while this approach is an effective way to building high-performance Python libraries, its approach comes with a cost. Building these hybrid libraries is very complicated, requiring low-level understanding of the internals of Python, requires knowledge of CC++ programming. But the cost has already been paid. We have NumPy, we have PyTorch and TensorFlow. So I don't see the value add here. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Very strange to have no GC as an innovative feature for a modern programming language. Personally, I think Lang get it right by making GC as a default and provide no GC as an optional feature. As a comparison, auto industry is moving toward fully automatic transmission, especially for the EV, but software industry is still undecided and seems cannot even come up with a robust GC mechanism that is on par with no GC in term of performance. With no GC, interpreted programming language e.g. Python, will most probably be used well into the future alongside Mojo, C++, Rust because majority of AI data science machine learning programmers cannot even bother to touch the underlying codes for the fear of programming complexity of these NoGC languages. Why is NoGC an advantage for something aimed at such high-level tasks? Yeah, funnily enough, I think NoGC would be a much better feature in Julia, which would make it a great language for real-time applications. This is not true at all. Julia usually being JIT compiled makes it very unsuitable for real-time applications, and there's no reason why it should be great for it. GC is the least issue here, and I say that as a fan and daily user of Julia. Well, I'm blown away. If this succeeds, it will allow you to use Python for the entire AI stack. High-level model composition, as usual, fast compiled CPU code, instead of, say, libs written with C and on-device operations, instead of, say, lives that use CUDA. Oh, and it will make your Python code parallel. I.e. there's no gil. Obviously, we'll have to wait until Mojo is production ready. But I'm excited after seeing Jeremy Howard's easy-to-follow examples during the live keynote presentation.
Jeremy, who sometimes hangs out on HN, must have been dying to tell the world about this for a long while. Props to the Mojo team. If this succeeds, it will allow you to use Python for the entire AI stack. If this succeeds, the terminal endpoint will be the Python Software Foundation, adopting Modular as the de facto and eventually official implementation since, as Modular noted in their docs, they effectively need Mojo to be absolutely amazing on generalized host CPUs as the key enabler, allowing for the unified Python superset experience across other types of general and specialized hardware, XPU. Julia will be dealt an adoption setback proportional to Mojo's growing success. No, it won't. The language is not a superset of Python. It's another language that somewhat resembles Python. You can't drop in some Python code and run it with Mojo and expect it to work. This isn't Python though, right? It's just a Python-like syntax for a much lower level programming language, sort of like Scython, from my cursory glance. It seems a lot like Rust with a Pythonic veneer, so I would expect it will run into many of the same problems that Rust has. Lots of difficulty pacifying the borrow checker. The source code is Python. Well, a superset of Python. But it's not interpreted and run by the official Python interpreter. Judging by what I've seen so far, it seems Modular has been able to Rustify plus Tritonify Python code in a way that to me feels very Pythonic. Hi, Jeremy Howard here. I pop up in the launch video to demo super fast MapMul and Mandelbrot in Mojo. I'm pretty excited about this language to say the least. Not just for AIML, but for pretty much everything. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll answer as best as I can. I'm an advisor to Modulo. Are there plans to port any major existing Python libraries to pure Mojo? Mojo that will not use Kyathon. Is there a plan for a general purpose matrix or tensor library like NumPy or PyTorch, but in pure Mojo? Although there are no concrete implementations to review, the implication was that Mojo will can be used standalone, similar to a Python implementation, so one is not necessarily locked onto the modular platform. Was this a correct understanding? Also, will the next version of the FastEye library be written in Mojo? Mojo can actually create fully standalone binaries, so you don't even need a Mojo install to run them. Also, the binaries are really small compared to languages that need a big runtime, e.g. a binary containing the MapMul implementation is 100 KB. I'm not sure how long it will take before there's enough MLDL functionality to write something like FastEye in Mojo. I think there will be at least one more major version of FastEye in Python. And even when Mojo can support what FastEye needs, I expect to continue to supporting FastEye on Python as well. Hi, is there any plan to have high-level model training tools? One example is things like PyTorch dataset loaders, or is the focus more on inference deployment use cases? Is this closed source? I just assumed that a new programming language would be open source, but I don't see any links to GitHub or any other place. The getting started page also requires you to put in your name and contact information. Oh God, I hope this is not a closed source language. I have spent 10 plus years fighting the MATLAB ecosystem. I prefer not to spend the next 10 years fighting this thing. MATLAB existed for a reason and has since become irrelevant, in particular in the face of Python being used as a more flexible open source scientific computing scripting language. If this is closed source, it's already as irrelevant as MATLAB, so no reason to fight it. If there are useful bits, there will be Python versions of them. This is exactly what I was trying to figure out. It seems like the answer is no at this time. Seems like it could be interesting. Initial impression is that the animation of Mojo code versus Python code has a bad UX. Why not just show the code side by side instead of animating it and making me click? Another obvious question is how is it different than number and so forth? Doc Modelo Jomitum. The Mojo language has lofty goals. We want full compatibility with the Python ecosystem. We would like predictable low-level performance and low-level control, and we need the ability to deploy subsets of code to accelerators. We also don't want ecosystem fragmentation. We hope that people find our work to be useful over time and don't want something like the Python 2 equals Python 3 migration to happen again. These are no small goals. And Mojo already supports many core features of Python, including async await, 
error handling, variatics, etc. But it is still very early and missing many features. So today it isn't very compatible. Mojo doesn't even support classes yet. So I think the idea is good, but yeah, re-implementing Python is a huge effort. Though the comparison right below is notable. A major goal of Clang was to be a compatible replacement for GCC, MSVC, and other existing compilers. It is hard to make a direct comparison, but the complexity of the Clang problem appears to be an order of magnitude bigger than implementing a compatible replacement for Python. The journey there gives good confidence we can do this right for the Python community. A file extension of Fire Emoji. This is not easy to type from a terminal. Edit. It's even stripped on HN. This is the final nail in the coffin for Julia as a replacement for Python in my eyes. Maybe I'm very late to that conclusion. Maybe the writing's been on the wall for a while. But I still held out hope that Julia could be at least a parallel peer to Python sharing the market. But now, it seems almost certain that Julia will end up a possible replacement for MATLAB niche language, unknown and unused by most outside the niche. It's a pretty big and important niche to be sure, but a bit disappointing given how nice the language is. Julia is doing all right. Julie Humka studies. Is this usable as a general purpose language, or is it too tailored to AIML tasks, and thus missing a lot of general libraries and such? How does performance compare to Python in the general case, when not dropping into tricks? Either way, kudos, exciting stuff, just questions I had after reading about it. This looks quite interesting with big names behind it. I'd love to see a comparison versus Julia though, which I think tried to tackle some of the same problems. Somewhere out there, a recruiter is gearing up to demand five years experience with Mojo before they will look at your resume. I already added Mojo Evangelism is my Mojo in my LinkedIn title. So is this actually Python or not? I'm a bit confused. 